The European Commission is currently establishing the European Help Data Space. This is clearly one of the top priorities of European health policy. At the European level, the sharing of health data allows, for example, to build more efficient AI algorithms to support patient care or to improve the management of pandemics such as COVID-19. Last October, the European Commission published a call for consortia to prefigure the European Health Data Space for secondary use. The Health Data Hub mobilized very quickly to take up this challenge and form a very large consortium with 16 partners, including eight platforms and two European agencies, the EMA and the ECDC. The Health Data Hub and the entire consortium are very proud to have been selected by the Commission. So in practice, what are the objectives of this pilot of the European Health Data Space? There are, there are mainly two objectives. First, connect the different platforms of the consortium. Second, run impactful use cases. We are convinced the European Health Data Space is a game changer for health in Europe. The European Health Data Spaces for Research and Policymaking is a unique opportunity to bring together heterogeneous health data sources, from national registries to research infrastructures, giving new opportunities for medical research. What is very important is to tap into the wealth of health data, which today is fragmented across Europe, and research has um, uh, difficulty to access this data for science. The EHDS will enable us to carry out research projects with data from multiple European countries and to leverage the data we have to gain valuable research insights on a larger scale. We are aware of existing challenges in data quality and data standardization, delays in access to data and unclarities around the legal framework. Common rules for data access and easy way for researchers to identify available data are essential and we are confident that the European health data space will make this possible. Piloting the use of applied mathematics and artificial intelligence on health data are within the areas of interest for the Norwegian Directorate for eHealth. Findability and easy access of health data for secondary use promoted by the European health data space supports the mission of the European Public Health Association to have a strong evidence base to identify develop and advocate for actionable policy recommendations. The European Health Data Space will help EMA and national medicines agencies in their work to benefit patients' health by facilitating access to real-world data from across Europe. This will enable carrying out real-world evidence studies to underpin decision-making on the development, authorization and supervision of medicines. It is important that European health data space will provide actionable data for preventing and controlling infectious disease threats to EU EEA citizens. To make the most of health spending and investments, both at the EU and national level, proactive operational and strategic decision-making should be based on solid and up-to-date data, resulting in good and timely understanding of the dynamics of population health and health system performance. In Denmark, we already have really great health data, but sometimes uh, we do not actually have enough. This is true when looking at uh, rare diseases where the volumes of patients in a small country like Denmark is, is simply not enough. By adopting and promoting appropriate rare disease standards, the European health data space will make it possible gathering transnational demographic, clinical, diagnostic and treatment data that will provide a clear picture of the situation of rare disease in Europe. So the European Health Data Space pilot will help us to align activities across the One Plus Million Genome Initiative, an initiative we support that has the aim to enable secure access to genomics and the corresponding clinical data across Europe for better research, personalized healthcare and health policy making. We are very much looking forward to getting started with the work which will be conducted alongside the negotiations on the legal proposal for the European Health Data Space Regulation over a two-year period. Our aim is to work with the whole European ecosystem, including, of course, other outgoing European projects, such as the TEDAS Joint Action. 
you will soon be able to follow the progress of the project thanks to a dedicated new website as well as a newsletter and Twitter account. So stay tuned.